Welcome. If you have a question, please put it in the chat box. We have counselors here. We have administration here. We have teachers that teach um, rising ninth graders and along with some of our department heads from the different subject areas. So if you have a question about transitioning to the ninth grade or any of the courses they may take, please write it in the chat box. There will not be a presentation here. This is a question and answer session. We'll be happy to answer any questions that people have about transitioning to the ninth grade or about registration. Making sure um, the our high school counselors will be at the middle school starting next week to register students for the ninth grade. We want to make sure that they have their courses selected prior to that. If you have any questions, please let me know. Let's see if I can get you up here. Will you talk a little bit about um, registration and everything for the um, attendee that we have? Can you hear me now? Yes. OK, sorry. I'm Ms. Bristow. Um, I'm the ninth grade counselor. Um, so basically what happens is our counselors, we walk over to the middle school um, and we meet individually with each student. And so um, how it works this year is we're going to do it in a smaller group setting. Um, so I believe it is separated in. We have different time slots um, Monday through Thursday, and then we will have it between um, like 16 students. Um, some is 19 students and so basically each student gets a chance to meet individually with a counselor, go over their um, specific schedule for next year, be able to ask any questions um, and then they can make their um, schedule of what it could potentially be. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be exactly that, um, but it does give the students an opportunity to meet with the counselor and go over um, just their classes that they'll be able to take ninth grade. OK, thanks. I see Ms. Frape now. I'm going to let her talk a little bit about requirements for the um, rising ninth graders. Hi, Hello. Ma can you see me and hear me now? Yes, we can. OK, good. I was having some technical difficulties, apparently. Um, so basically, your ninth graders are rising ninth graders. The the normal classes that they have to have is foundations of, of math, math one, English one, world history, health and PE, and they'll take earth and environmental, and then they can choose two electives. It's generally what a typical ninth grade schedule will look like. And students get to change, um, will get to choose if they want those classes to be college prep level. Um, they, they, they choose the rigor of their class. So college prep level is your basic class. Um, then there's honors level that gives you um, a little bit more challenge. Um, and students would also receive more quality points on their GPA if they chose and did well in a, like an honors level class. Typically, ninth graders are not taking AP courses yet. That is generally for juniors and seniors. Yeah, I see we've had someone else to join too. Um, if you have any questions, please use Click on the um, question and answer part on your screen, the chat box, and ask your questions. Uh, we have with us today, we have our uh, counselors, we have our administrate, uh, our assistant principals and principal, we have teachers that teach the ninth graders, as well as some uh, department heads that we have with us as well. Again, the purpose of this session is to allow an opportunity to ask questions, and we have a number of our faculty members here available to answer any questions. You've heard from Ms. Um, Bristow and Ms. Rape. I don't know if I can get Ms. Rothrock. Let's see. I'm going to um, send Ms. Most of you know Ms. Uh, Rockroth, and I'm going to let her talk a little bit about CTE. Ms. Rothrock, are you ready to come on screen? All right. Um, so, CTE department at the high school is unique because you do have the opportunity to start as a freshman. Um, we offer classes anywhere from agriculture to health science to culinary, um, and we have a great academies program as well that you can participate in as a, a rising junior or senior. So you can travel to other schools in the county and you can participate in pretty much anything you're interested in, um, firefighter, aviation, um, anything really that you're interested in. So um, it's important to plan ahead because there are prerequisite classes you have to take. 
So for example, if you're interested in the nursing program, you have to take health science one and two. And um, anything with a level one is available as a freshman, but that all just depends on availability for registration. So um, if you go to the um, CTE page on Pargold High School's website, you can view all of the academies and see the prerequisite classes. So I would definitely recommend taking a look at that so that you can um, better plan for registration. Okay. Let's see, where did Ms. Sims go? Okay, here's Ms. Sims and she's our, our choral director. So she's gonna speak a little bit about her program. Hi, I'm Alex Sims. I'm the chorus teacher at Parkwood High School and I'm also the fine arts department chair. Um, we have a variety of fine arts classes that students can take. Um, I teach chorus and also piano. And then we have um, a band program and options for students to take music theory and music appreciation. Um, lots of visual arts classes and um, also theater for students to take. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions about those courses, but we have really active programs and um, really involved teachers, and we would definitely love to see your students in our classes. Okay, next we're going to have Ms. Milliken. Ms. Milliken, she's the Hi. chair of the math department. Um, as Ms. Rape said, most of the freshmen will start off with taking Foundations of Math 1 first semester, math one second semester. Um, some other options are if your child is currently in math one in the eighth grade, then they can sign up to take, usually they take math two honors. Um, and then I'm not sure if there's any math two classes um, this year, I'm not sure if there are or not, um, they would take math, they would sign up for math three. Um, and that's, and we have, um, there's a team of teachers that teach the foundations of math and the math one class. Um, the foundations is an elective class, but sometimes it does count as a math credit for uh, students as they get close to their senior year. Um, but it, it's the whole math curriculum, but it's just over the whole year instead of just in one semester. Okay, we're going to hear from Coach Boyce next. He's in health and PE. Hey there. So yeah, my name is Coach Boyce. I'm our uh, girls basketball coach and our department head in uh, the PE department. So you're required to take health and PE as a freshman, but we offer several different electives, uh, two of which are my favorite that I teach. I teach our uh, health and fitness honors class and our sports medicine honors one and two. And then we have uh, some other classes um, that are electives that might benefit you, such as weightlifting, um, fit for life, um, and then team sports as well. So we have a plethora of classes um, that once you get past uh, the gradu uh, graduation requirement of health and PE, um, there's a ton of electives that you guys can take um, in our department. So if you guys need a friendly face, I'm in the PE wing. Feel free to stop by and ask any questions that you guys have. Okay, we're going to hear from uh, Mr. Whelan, who might be another familiar face to you. Hi, thanks for stopping by this evening. I teach uh, freshman focus and uh, English one, uh, freshman focus. Actually, I would be like your tour guide to transition to high school. Uh, we will do tons of team building and, and build a nice solid foundation that will you'll be able to carry with you for the your the remainder of your academic career. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime you ever have any questions or anything, just please don't hesitate to give me a shout and I'll be happy to, to get an answer for you. Okay, next we're going to go to Miss Gordon, who's representing our Exceptional Children's Program. Hi there, I'm Mrs. Gordon. There are a team of us teachers that work together to provide services for our students that have an IEP. We push into English 1 courses and also Math 1. There's um, also we check on them in their other classes and do what we can to help them reach their IEP goals. Let's go. We'll, we'll introduce the assistant principals now. I'm going to go to Miss Adams first. Hang on. Oh, there you go. Can you, can you hear me now? Yes. Hey, I'm Terry Adams and I'm an assistant principal here and um, I work with the EC department and uh, the English department and the math department as well as, um, you know, any other needs and um, 
this year I'm responsible for the alphabet N through Z. Um, so looking forward to seeing you. I used to be a middle school teacher, so this is an exciting journey for you. Okay, next to Mr. Delusia. My name is John Delusia. I'm Hang assistant on. principal. There you go. My name is John Delusia. I'm an assistant principal here at Parkwood High School. This is my fifth year. I also was a middle school teacher at one point. I was eight years across the street at Parkwood Middle School. Um, so I'm pretty familiar on how it runs. Um, also, I'm involved in many different aspects of par at Parkwood High School. And if you ever need anything, you let me know. We're here for you and we're here to ensure your success. Thank you. Hello there, I'm Mr. Morgan. I teach environmental science at Parkwood. Um, we look forward to seeing you at Parkwood. Uh, if you're interested in science, we have lots of electives down the road, but uh, we have three that you have to have for graduation. Uh, usually uh, freshmen moving up from the middle school take earth and environmental first, then their sophomore year they take biology, and then they have to have a physical science, usually within their junior or senior year, that can be their choice. That can be uh, the class physical science. They can take chemistry or they can take physics and that uh, takes care of that need. And then if science is your jam, which we hope it is, uh, there are electives to take uh, later on. So again, we look forward to seeing you. Mr. Moore, you're on. Okay, uh, hello, I'm uh, Mr. Moore. Uh, believe it or not, I used to be a middle school teacher back in the day. Uh, I work with uh, my, I'm responsible for the alphabet G through M. Uh, I also am uh, in charge of the buses if you guys need transportation and I uh, work with social studies and uh, JROTC and CTE. Okay. Okay, I'm Jean Patterson and I represent the language department here at um, Parkwood. We have French one, two, three, and four, one French teacher and Spanish one, two, three, and four, and we have three Spanish teachers. If you're going on to university, you are required to take levels one and two of the same language. Um, there are also virtual German classes online if that's your interest, but um, we are here to help you and support the um, social studies and reading teachers and working together. And we look forward to seeing you. Hey. Okay, I'm Ashley Diaz and I teach English one. Um, you will take English one, two, three, and four in high school. If you took, if you are taking English one right now, I will take English two as a freshman. Um, if you have any questions about that, you can always um, ask email and such Ms. Sherlin and Ms. Simmons about that because there are English two teachers. And we do have, um, electives in our department as well if you like that kind of thing like we do have creative writing and such um, and just if you have any questions along the way please feel free to ask here comes mr covington he's representing social studies there he is okay so i'm mr covington i am um, mostly a world history teacher uh, you guys for world history if you can remember uh, the, the social studies class you took in the sixth and seventh grade uh, that's what you are actually be doing all in one one year uh, the state has recently revised the course and we actually start from 1200 so next year you will be the first class to start at 1200 um, and we'll work up to to the present time um, uh, we have two other history teachers mr dunn and miss keener who also teaches uh, world history. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got Mr. Dunn up. Here he is. There's Mr. Dunn. Hi. Uh, I'm Mr. Dunn. I'm the other world history teacher, just like Mr. Covington said. Uh, well, he pretty much said it all. We are going to be having a new curriculum and everything next year, but we do talk about a lot of different subjects. It's probably one of the most interesting classes because we're able to talk about a wide variety of things in more of a hands-on discussion sort of basis. So that's one of the best things that we're able to do. And it's, uh, it's really good for the freshmen. It allows them to kind of open up a little bit more you know, they're able to interact with each other, get familiar with each other, get familiar with their surroundings a little bit more. So, yeah, we're excited to see everybody and we can't wait. 
Awesome. Hi, uh, I'm Miss Sherlin. I teach English too. Um, so as Miss Diaz said, if you are currently taking English one as an eighth grader, you will be in English two as a ninth grader. Um, English two is a little bit different from your other English classes. We are more skills based, um, so we focus on shorter text. Um, we do a lot of stuff with informational stuff. Um, and podcasts and all different kinds of things. Um, so English 2 is a lot of fun. OK, with the exception of the electives teachers in the CTE department, you've seen most of the teachers. Well, you see the teachers that teach the core classes for um, rising uh, ninth graders. So at this time, I'm going to dismiss them um, from the meeting. Um, they were going to be here from 530 to 6. So the teachers can um, go and we'll stay online for anybody that has any questions about registration. Our counselors will stay on as well as administration.